So we're still talking about the segment addition postulate, which says you can add up shorter segments and equal an entire segment length. But now we're going to throw in the concept of a midpoint. And what a midpoint is, if we're given that M is the midpoint of the segment AB here, that means the length from A to M, the length from A to M is equal to the length from M to B. So M is in the middle of length AB, so these two lengths are equal. Okay, or we can mark it. If you want to mark it, you mark it with tick marks. So you put a single tick mark on the segments that happen to be the same length. So in this case, a little bit different notation. If M is the midpoint, that means that segment AM is congruent to segment MB. Okay, so this one says that the lengths are equal. And this one says the segments themselves are congruent. That's an M, by the way. Okay, so two different types of writing. Here we have equality of lengths. The length of AM is equal to the length of MB. Or segment AM is congruent to segment MB. And that's talking about this actual thing is equal to this actual thing, where this length is equal to this length is what this is talking about. So that's the relationship if you know that if something has a midpoint. So let's do some problems with it. So here we're given that M is the midpoint. And if you're not told that you have a midpoint, do not assume that you do. Just because it looks like it's in the middle, if you are not told that it's the midpoint, or if it's not marked, as we had done in a second, if we had not marked as being the midpoint, then you don't know that those two segments are equal. So here we are told that it's the midpoint, which is fantastic. It is the midpoint. We're given a length for AM, so that means that this length is equal to that length if M is the midpoint. So AM is 4x minus 6, MB is 2x plus 3. So what is the length of segment AB? Well, we have to solve this for x and see what value that's going to be. So because M is a midpoint, that means AM equals MB. That's the geometric relationship. So now we can write down our algebra. 4x minus 6 equals 2x plus 3. So this is the geometry that gives you an algebraic equation that we can solve now for x. So I'm going to subtract my 2x from both sides. I'm going to get my numbers together also at the same time. So 2x will equal to 9. So 2 times some number equals 9. So we'll divide both sides by 2. That means we have an x value of 4.5 in this case. So if we want the length of AB, we need to plug 4.5 back into both of these x's. Or you can plug it into 1x and simply multiply that by 2 because they're both the same. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to plug it into this equation and figure out what mb happens to be. 4.5 plus 3. So 2 times 4.5 was 9. 9 plus 3 is 12. So that means that mb is 12 units long. And AM, since it's congruent or the same length as, is also 12 units long. So that must mean that AB is going to be 24 units long. Because it is the sum of the other two units. Just like the segment addition postulate says, 12 plus 12 equals 24. Segment addition postulate with the midpoint. Okay, let's do another one. Here... In this case, we're given that O is the midpoint of DG. So we know that this is in the middle, so these two segments are going to be congruent, so let's mark that as being equal. DO is 3x plus 2, and DG is 28. So now remember, this is the entire length. The entire length is 28. So what's the value of x? So let's go back to the segment addition postulate. No matter what, we know that DO plus OG is going to be equal to the entire length DG. And there's a couple ways that we can set up this algebra. 
Because we know that both of these things are equal, we can do 2 times 3x plus 2 if we wish. And that needs to equal 28. Or, if you're not comfortable with that, we can just plug this number into it. So we know that DO is 3x, not 2x. We know that DO is 3x plus 2 plus this is also going to be 3x plus 2 because these are the same lengths. So 3x plus 2 needs to equal the entire length of 28. Okay, so either way you have 2 times as a product or you can have the sum of 2 segments either way. Either way we're going to get 6x plus 4 equaling 28. Same thing here, 3 and 3 is 6, 2 and 2 is 4, and we can solve this equation. So 6 times some number is 24, we'll divide both sides, and in this case x happens to be equal to 4. And that's what we were asked for, what is the value of x, so we have finished our problem. We're just solved for x, and we have solved for x, so we are done. We have done all that we need to do, we don't need to plug it back in figure that out. Okay? Or, secondarily, another way to think about it, because the entire length is 28, and this is a midpoint, you know that both of these things are 14 units long. Okay, so there's a couple different ways to think about this problem. Here's another way. We know that 3x plus 2 has to be equal to 14. So we either have the entire segment, or you know what half of the length is. So either way, notice we will still get x equals 4 as your answer. But there are a couple different ways to think about it and to go through that. And that's the beauty of geometry is there's usually sometimes, well I guess not usually, but sometimes there's more than one relationship so there's more than one thing that you can set up to solve. So let's do one more problem here. Here we have that E is the midpoint of segment BN but we're not drawing a picture so we have to first draw a picture. So we have to start with segment BN. Here is B, here is N. We know E is the midpoint, so let's put it in the middle as best we can, and let's mark it. So we know that this length is equal to that length. Okay, so if BE is 3x plus 5, let's write that in here. BE is 3x plus 5. BN, oh, notice BN, this is once again the entire length. The entire length. So let's put that over here. 7x minus 9 is the entire length. What is the length of BN? So if we want to know the length, we have to solve for x, so we have to set up some type of relationship. So let's go back to the segment addition postulate. Because we know the entire length, we know that BE plus EN equals BN. And because E is the midpoint, we know that this segment will also be 3x plus 5. Because it's a midpoint, these two are equal. So this has the same equation or value as that does. So that's going to help us down here once we get to our equation. So our, our algebra, 3x plus 5, that's BE, EN is the same, another 3x plus 5, and that needs to equal 7x minus 9, the entire length. Maybe that should have been pink, but let's just go ahead and solve it. I'll go back to my standard color. So combining like terms, 6x plus 10, 3x and 3x is 6x, 5 and 5 are 10, equals 7x minus 9. Let's get our x's on the same side, so we'll subtract 6x from both sides. And I'm also going to add 9 to both sides to get rid of that as well. So I'm left with uh, 10 plus 9, that's 19 on this side. And over here, 7 minus 1 is 1x, or 7 minus 6 is 1x. So we have solved this value for x, x equals 19. But it says, what is the length of BN? So now we have to plug it back in. Let's go back to pink so we can do this. No reason why, just because I can. So 
bn is 7x, in this case x is 19, minus 9. Well, let's uh, go ahead and pull up a calculator real quick to do this calculation. 7 times 19. 7 times 19, just to make sure. I know 7 times 20 is 140. So it's going to be 19 less or 133. Excellent. So that means that we have 133 minus 9. And 133 minus 9 is 124 units long is the entire length of the end. We'll put that in a box. That is your final answer. We wanted the length of Vn. We have found the length of Vn. Okay, so just a couple of problems with segment addition that have a midpoint in them. When you know it's a midpoint, you can set things equal. When you don't know it's a midpoint, when you're not told or it's not marked, do not assume that they are equal, even though they might look like they are. You have to be told that it's a midpoint or it has to be marked in order for them to be equal. Alrighty.